hello everyone welcome to this altrix course in the previous video we have already seen the features of altrix and how to actually install its setup so uh, now as you can see the exe file is already downloaded i'm just going to click on it to open it up and just work you out throughout this installation process right it is a very simple installation process so first of all what you need to do is uh, you need to just go with the first option which is a typical altrix version if you want uh, our programming language based predictive tools which is an advanced version of altrix you can go for it but since this course is aimed at beginners so we are just going with the typical version the language you can select i'm just going with english let's click on next then it is going to download all the required files so let's just wait for a few seconds till these files are downloaded now once all the required files are downloaded this kind of a menu will appear in front of you where it would be just verifying all the contents of the setup package so you need to wait for a few seconds let's just uh, meet after this has been done now it will ask for uh, where to install the application so you can just select a particular folder but i'm just going with a default path let's click on next accept the license agreement again click on next and then it's again going to take a few seconds to install the whole program onto your system now uh, once all the installation process has been completed uh, you would be getting just screen just like this make sure this box is checked on and click on finish now once this box is checked on altrix would automatically be running onto your system now once the altrix application has been launched onto your system it would ask you to enter a license key if you have a license key you can just enter it or you can simply click on start free trial then it would ask your uh, mail address and just remember this thing that this should be the same email address that you needed to provide once uh, you were registering like when you were providing your details the email address you entered over there that's the same address that you need to provide over here so let's just enter this email address and click on continue now once you have entered your email address it would ask you whether you want to include the altrix intelligence suite in your package or not so for now what we can do is just click on this i'll try it later option because i just don't want to use it right now and you can click on start solving so once you have done all these steps uh, this kind of a dialog box would appear for the tour we can just click on close tour because we don't need it right so uh, this is how the altrix user interface is looking let us take a quick look at all the operations that are going to be of use to us so first of all we have this menu bar with the usual options like file edit view and many more if you just hover over it you will find these different options right next we have is this tabs these are the different tabs having different functionalities like if you want some to add some of the tools then you can use these tabs like for data preparation for joining for parsing for transforming for the machine learning etc these different tools are available if you want to use any tools what you need to do is just go to its tab get that tool suppose i want to apply a filter just drag it and drop it over here this place where drop tools here is written it is known as a workflow or canvas so you can just drop that particular tool over here and then you would be able to use it now once you have dropped a tool you can see that something changed over here this is a configuration window which would help us to configure this tools like uh, if you want to apply a filter what kind of a filter you want to apply the basic filter or a custom filter in a basic filter what changes you want to do so all these customizations or configurations can be done through this tab known as the configuration tab now once you have configured all the tools into the canvas you can click on this button that is known as the run button to actually run this workflow the shortcut is control r so either you can use the shortcut or just the run button then what will happen is you would be getting a result or an output so this result would be shown over here in this window this is known as the results window this is where the output would be shown to you right next we have is the search part that is really important especially for the beginners like there are different tabs and the different tools are 
actually separated in those tabs suppose you want to search for a particular tool like let's say you want to search for a formula so we can just simply type formula and you would see this formula is over here you can just use it like this you can just drag it and drop it over here like this okay so this search bar would be of very use uh, to us next we have is this kind of a plus sign so if you want to add or remove some of the tools because there are many tools supported by altrix not all are shown over here you want to add or remove them you can just simply use this option suppose i don't want this uh, sdk example so let's just uncheck this and in case of that i want a spatial analysis right so let's just check on spatial and click on ok so what would happen is as you can see the spatial has been added over here and the sdk analysis has been gone from here so this is how you can work with a simple interface of altrix this is just the introduction part in the coming videos we would be seeing how to work with actual data sets through proper practicals that's all for this video thanks for watching